Do you want to make a checkpoint system where even if you rejoin or fall off the obby, your checkpoint's safe just like that? Stick around and I'll show you how to do it in just a few minutes. Go ahead and set your checkpoints up in workspace just like this in the folder and label each of your checkpoints with numbers. Firstly, we're gonna need our player service because we need to know when the player joins and leaves the game. And to save our data, we're gonna need to use data store service. Now we're gonna get the checkpoint folder and workspace. We're going to use this to set the checkpoint leader stat and set the player's position. Next, we're going to define the checkpoints data store. This will be what we're gonna use to save our data. All right, next we're just gonna write two functions. So one for saving data and one for loading data. Now we're going to say player added, which basically allows us to see whenever the player joins the game. So now we're just going to set up our leader stats, which we're going to place the folder inside our player. This allows it to be displayed on the top right of the game. Now we're going to set up our checkpoint, our checkpoint leader stat, which will go inside our leader stats folder. Now we're going to type character added, which gets called every single time our character gets added, which is respawning, joining the game and stuff like that. So we're going to check if the checkpoint is in the folder. Of course, because we don't have a number zero checkpoint, we don't want it to error. Don't forget to wait for the humanoid root part or else your character might just spawn in at a normal spawn location. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the C frame of the humanoid root part. Now we're gonna go ahead and call load data and give it our player and leader stats. Now we're just gonna set our save data whenever a player leaves the game. That's why it says player removing. The reason we use a P call is in case our loading data errors at all. Now we're gonna check if it successfully got the data, then we're just gonna set our checkpoint value. That's how you load the data, pretty simple. To save our data, we're just gonna have to define our leader stats folder, and we're gonna have to define our checkpoint leader stat in our leader stats folder. Now we just need to get our data store and set it a sync to our key, which will be our player ID. And we're going to save our checkpoint.value. Now we're just gonna go ahead and loop through all of the checkpoints. And basically whenever we touch the checkpoint, we want it to set our leader stat to that checkpoint value. We're just gonna go ahead and check if it has a humanoid, and then we're gonna check if that humanoid is a player and then we're just going to go ahead and compare stats because we don't want the player to have checkpoint number two but them going back to checkpoint number one and that changing right here we're going to offset this just so we don't spawn under the the map and just like that you're already done quick little saving checkpoint system it's going to go ahead and test it And boom, we spawn right back. So amazing, we're gonna go ahead and play test again, see if it saves whenever we load. And just like that, it saves when we load back. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your checkpoint system works as great as mine did. And if you have any suggestions, just leave them down in the comments. If you'd like to see more of this content, hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you want more people to see this video and have a great day.